thought I'd make this little video on how we found a system to make it easier to pipe and insulate as you go on the external pipe runs of the air source heat pump. But first we'll just go on to the products that we'll need. So the products you need are Primary Pro, all the different sizes, Bond and Seal, we highly recommend the Pipe Legger Pro, all different sizes internally and externally for your insulation and it comes in the kit with this toothless saw. Always use rubber line clips. Now that's not just for securing the insulation correctly, it doesn't crush the insulation but also in summertime if the metal clip does get hot with the rubber linings on the clip can't damage the insulation. So perfect for the future of the insulation and energy efficiency. Back plates, standard back plate, we have to space the, the insulation off the wall for maintenance and looking after it. But also we've made these Well Raven systems up as well. So they're easy to fit, one screw in the middle, boat level, secures it all up, another screw in, makes it simple to fit. So we've done a video on them. So we make those kits as well. If you've seen the video on the pre-made through the wall kits that we've made, you can make them elbowed up and all insulated, piped and sealed. We always leave a length of pipe showing without insulation. That's if you are sweating up, if you're soldering the pipe work, you'd need to keep the heat away from the insulation and then fit it. If it's going to be a press fit fitting, then that could be a lot shorter. As you see the part on the horizontal, that's a full length of insulation and that's got no cut in it whatsoever. So once we've made that fitting and sweated and soldered that fitting up, we can push that towards the elbow. And then what we're going to make on the 300 piece, we'll make another piece for that, but that will be the only piece that we have to cut, slice down and fit in and then seal the side and also seal around the fitting. So it makes it simple to do and also makes it a lot faster. You can seal up and you can cap all the way through until you get to the air source heat pump. And then the air source heat pump then needs to be made up, fitting your flexible hoses and whatever fittings, valves you want to be fitting. So just go on how to seal and cap. And as we say in all the videos, work from your holes back to your air source heat pump, cutting your insulation, fitting your pipe work and sealing and bonding all the joints up as you go try not to um, split the insulation and start threading it through as much as you can uh, but then sealing the joints what you want to do is you want to get as much on the seal be really liberal with it get plenty in there it doesn't matter if it goes onto the pipe work it's a lot easier when it's in situ so it goes onto the pipe work put plenty into the gap and then that's going to then seal to the pipe work as well. Push it together. You'll see it oozing out. If it doesn't ooze out, just pull it back again and just pop some more bond and seal into it because you want it to ooze out and then put the cap on. So yeah, plenty of bond and seal. So it's like making another clip because then that, that aids expansion and contraction from this side and seals it all together seals it inside so no water can get in there with capillary attraction and no energy can get out pop them together squeeze them together and it's all oozing out and then all you do then is you then you go around and then cap it and then that produces the perfect seal 